Okay, hi everyone. Today we are doing the 2007 uh, practical on glass block. Okay, is uh, now you follow the instructions and draw your lines according to what you see. Okay, so follow the instructions carefully. Okay, and you're gonna measure your angle. Remember, draw a normal perpendicular. The first angle is 20 degrees. Okay, maybe you cannot see clearly here. Okay, and draw the line ABC. Now, different kind of glass block questions will have slightly different instructions. So please read carefully. Okay, so I already pre-prepared our question over here. Okay, with the angles and the lines all drawn. Now do keep in mind, uh, when you draw the glass block, please make sure your line is drawn close to the edge. Okay, don't draw out a bit, because later you're going to find it very hard to realign your glass block. So this is an issue we can talk about later on. Okay, notice also I got four pins holding down the paper. This is so that it doesn't fly away or move when you're uh, finding the positions or drawing, etc. Okay, so now I'm going to place the pins. Okay, according to the question, you've got to place two pins on the side of AB. Okay, place the first pin as perpendicularly as you can on the line. On the line. Okay, close to the glass block but not touching. Okay, vertically. So you might need to actually come down to eye level to make sure it is more or less vertical. Okay, so now you can see the two pins. Now leave a space of about 3 to 4 cm between them as far as reasonable. Okay, now we're going to do the second part, the important thing, okay, which is to come down to eye level again and look through the glass block. Okay, so now we will try and put the two pins in line inside the glass block. Okay, again the first pin, uh, put it near to the glass block but not touching. Okay, please be careful not to shift the glass block when you're doing this. So this is the first position. Okay, do not press too hard. Uh, at the bottom of this is a soft board which allows you to poke through the paper and let the pin stand without pressing too hard. Please don't do it on the table because you're going to make the make holes in the table. Uh. Okay, the second pin, give a little bit more distance. Okay, roughly 3 to 4 cm. Make sure that the pin is blocking the two pins behind through the inside of the glass block. Okay, so once I put it down, it should be somewhere around here. Okay, let me check first. Huh? Okay, if you move a bit to the left and a bit to the right, okay, you should see four pins just slightly out of line. Okay, on the left and on the right. But if you look at the front pin straight on, you should see only one pin. Okay, only the front pin blocking all the other pins through the glass block. But on top of the glass block, you should see two sets of pins. Okay, or oh, sorry, in fact, it's four different pins. Lah. Okay, on top, you should see two pins in line and another two behind. Okay, so this is how you find the position of the light ray coming out of the glass block. So now I'm going to remove the pins and the glass block and do my drawing. your line goes through the center of the hole and not through the side okay and this is point d e and that's the first experiment uh, first value okay i already prepared the 30 degree one i'm going to just show you straight away okay now now you have to come down and look through the side. But there's nothing to stop you from shifting the softboard. That's why the pin at the side is also good. So you can move, turn this around carefully. Okay, don't shake it so hard. So once I look through, again I will see through the glass block. Okay, at the bottom. Uh, first position. Second position. Okay, so now that we've done the position, uh, okay, I'm going to remove the glass block. 
Now, again, like I said, in this experiment, it requires you to do on separate pieces of paper. If you don't do this on separate pieces of paper, you're going to find marks deducted needlessly. But in some years, the experiment requires you to do on everything on one piece. So please follow the instructions carefully. Okay, so this will be D, E. Okay, now just one additional thing to note. If you draw accurately, you'll find that this line and this line should be parallel because the edge of this uh, glass block uh, is parallel also. So if you draw accurately, this should be parallel to this. So if you find that you uh, draw this line and this one is quite off, you know that you made a mistake. You can quickly go and change because your setup haven't shifted yet. Just put it back and quickly check. Erase the line and check. Okay. Okay, so just oh I forgot to show the pin position one more time. And that show it? Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> I'm gonna put the pins back uh, because I've got the holes there, so I can do this quickly. Sounds that's good. how you can uh, that's how we can actually just check the result one more time uh, if necessary. You don't even need to worry about the glass block. But like I said, uh, glass block you must be careful, place it back the way it was. If I leave it like this, a bit off, uh, then you confirm your answer will be wrong. Okay. Okay. One more time. Okay. So let me just check. Yes, it's good. Okay. Let's come, bring that for our journey down. into the pins. Is this correct? Yes. It's okay. How close can we go? Yes. Very close. Okay. So if you look a bit to the left, a bit to the right, okay, you notice that the pins are, okay, are. A bit more to the left, uh, uh, to the right, uh, you see four pins. A bit more to the left, you see four pins. But this is looking through the glass block. Okay, don't look on top. Okay, you look dead center on the uh, first pin. Uh, you should make sure that the first pin can block all the four pins together at one time. Okay, so that is the idea of how you do your glass block. Now the rest of the data is quite straightforward. So just do another repeat uh, three times for this experiment and draw. Okay, remember when you're plotting a graph, follow which one is supposed to be on the vertical axis. Okay, don't make a kind of careless mistake. Okay, as for the errors, I mentioned a few of them just now. So, you see whether you can remember what I talked about. Okay, it's the things that I said that uh, the issues that I can talk about later on. Okay, and that's it for 2007. Thank you all very much. Bye. -bye.